So it's your birthday and you got a pinata, but every single time you decide to take a swing at it, you accidentally hit Nana. Well, she's, um, she's, yeah, she's, yeah, it's, she's not having a good day. Hey guys, I'm Matt, my God, I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to fix your transparency um, when something is broken. And um, an easy way to do that is to go ahead and do a couple of things. So let's just drag a box over top of everything here, hit delete on our keyboard, hit shift A and we'll search for an image. Now, if you don't have this, then you have to go up to um, edit preferences and then go ahead and search for images as planes and make sure that is checked on right there and you can close that. Now, I'm gonna hit shift A and we're gonna search once again for an image as planes. It'll open this up and then I'm gonna go ahead and select my image. The image that we choose today is going to be the Blender logo next to my favorite game of all time, Angry Birds. Um, and I'm going to make sure all this stuff uh, over here is set up properly. The only thing we need to make sure um, that we have is that this is all set up properly. And we have all the use alpha checked and whatnot. Everything's good. So everything's fine. Just make sure use alpha is checked on for transparency, of course. And then hit import. And now you can see um, if we go to material viewport shading, you can see that we have a transparent background on our um blender logo now let's say um you want to stop there that's fine but let's say that um we want to change the material that's attached to this maybe we want it to emit light so that it's not like all dark and stuff and like we don't have to add a light to the scene maybe we want it to be like evenly shaded and we would just want it to be like you know emission shaded and we don't want to have to re-import it to do all that so We'll go ahead and just delete that lamp real quick. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go on to the material tab by clicking on this and then going over here to the material tab. And now I'm gonna change this from principal BSDF to what we want. We want a mission. So we're gonna go and change that to a mission now. But as you can see, it it's it's lost everything. So how do we fix this? Super easy. Let's go ahead and go to this little uh, yellow dot, click that, and then go down to image texture right there. Boom. Click that. Now, instead of hitting open or new, we can just go ahead and hit this little drop down box and then select our blender um, image, the, the, the thing that we just had. Click that. And then now you can see we have that back and it is an emission object. There's no more like it's all fully solidly shaded. It's the same thing. It's, it's emitting light. We can even go ahead and like, you know, boost that and like pump it up if we want to and go, whoa, whoa, look at all that. Wow, crazy. Um, but something that we uh, that you that you notice is that there's black behind it. There's no more transparency. All right, easy fix. Boom. Let's go ahead and put our cursor top left until uh, it, turn, and turn, it turns into a plus, and then we'll just click and drag it open like that. Boom. Split my window into two, and then hit this little button right here to change this to the shader editor. Boom. Now we're done. I'm um, just gonna drag that away. Um, we can see what we have here is um, just two different nodes, which is the image itself and then the emission node. The problem is, is that there's no transparency in this anymore. It's completely gone. So let's go ahead and hit uh, shift A and search for a transparent BSDF. Boom. Put that right there. Hit shift A and search for one more thing here. A mix shader, not the mix color, the mix shader. And then we're going to put that right between the emission and the material output. And then now um, we're going to go ahead and put the uh, the emission in the bottom input and then the transparency in the top input. And you can see nothing's changed still. It's like, like the whole thing is now slightly transparent because we can mix between no transparency and full transparency. So, um, and although it's good to be fully transparent with your friends, your family, and your girlfriend, it's not good to be fully transparent right here. So let's go ahead and I'm going to take this alpha input in the image from the image um, uh, node. And we're going to skip over the transparent, skip over the emission. And we're going to plug this directly into the factor of the mix shader. And boom, instantly you'll notice that we no longer have um, black around the edges. We no longer have a transparent logo. It is all fully uh, emission and it is completely transparent in the places where it's supposed to be. So that is how you create a, um, that's how you create a nice transparent image. And you can go ahead and adjust the emission if you want to still. And more importantly, everything is the way it's meant to be. So ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Hope it helped you out. This is something very simple, but very, very uh, frustrating if you don't know how to do it. So I hope you guys learned something new today. I'll see you in the next one. Um, uh, peace out, but until then, Bye-bye.